Okay guys, today I'm going to show you uh, this is an update version of how to speed up Call of Duty World at War PC. So I'm just going to quickly close that. Yeah, I just uploaded another YouTube video there. If you want to watch us how to install custom zombie mats to Call of Duty World at War. So here we go for our next video. So basically, I showed you how to do it before, but I'll, I'll load this up in window mode and everything just to quickly show you. I'm just going to come on with a load of music now. Okay, fuck that anyway. Just... If you can hear me, you should just click that. This is how you speed up initially. Just set priority to real time. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to turn this off now. Okay, so here's a really helpful way. Another really helpful way. And this is the most helpful way. It'll make you play in literally real time. Don't change any of these settings now. So basically, go here. Because this is the easiest way to do it. Percent. App. Data. Percent. And click enter. Should come up with all this Minecraft stuff. Click on app that up here. I'll take it into full mode. And click on local. And you should see all these files should. See all these files. And then you find Activision. And this is where all your stuff is. So basically you go into I'll go back again. So you go into Activision, COD World at War, Players, Profiles, and this is my profile, I don't know why. And see this config file, basically open up this. Because this is like a, a rich tech doc document text. And take all these. Uh, just click that. Click central A. Uh, and copy these. And then you can go back out of this. Now you just want to delete this completely. And and click new. And click rich tech, tech text document. And open this up. Just open it up. Uh, now click. Um, now just do all of this. I'll set that on the thing. Wait, there, I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Just had to get a cup of tea, so I was thirsty. Tea. So basically, you click save as. Once you have all this written down, I'll put that in the text or something like that, whatever, because it's too much to copy all that. And basically, you're gonna want to put um. Uh config yeah config these are basically your controls I'll show you how to set up everything else after controls dot cfg config sorry and then you're gonna click save here and basically you can just delete this then this initial file whatever and it should come up as a config like that rich tech that text document even though you didn't do that so once you got all that uh going to call of duty world at war you should be able to see this now and if you can't you're blind Otherwise, the video quality is just really bad, but yeah. Go like this, retrieve an account, fuck you. Okay, yeah. sorry I'm talking fast as well. Okay, go straight onto graphics and put it to, if it's any higher than this, just put it, it should, it might be on whatever one. Put it to 640 by 480, you should be able to see the exact same. Okay, this is what it is now, look. All of these will be put to no. We see number of corps, corpses. It won't see nothing there because it, it, it like, it like tricks the system into thinking there's no zombie bodies and it makes it play in real time. I don't know how they, it does it, but yeah, and then put this to automatic. And I don't know how that does that. And click plan tag bash for some reason. Yeah, I'll be bash. Don't reset any. Click enable console now. This is to enable your um your controls as well. Your um what would you say? Uh, see the way it says B shift here and all that stuff. Basically, you click this button. You click um, E X C no E X E C line default underscore controller uh, dot C F G, and that changes your controls to your um, Xbox 360 controls. I'm not going to do that because I've all set up already. But once you do that, you just press enter, and it should all change. And yeah. So that's how to speed up and I just found out that not too long ago. Well I found out a very long time ago but I just didn't remember really doing that at the time because the settings aren't really, they didn't really seem that important. But it does a lot. It could make you go, it could make you increase by at least 50 to 100 frames, maybe even more. But I have no lag really. So thanks for watching, rate, comment, subscribe and if you ever want me to do any tutorials just tell me and I'll do them. So yeah I'll be seeing you guys.